Hey, everybody, this is Heidi St. John. Thanks for tuning in today. You guys have found me at my little corner of the internet. The studio here is getting a little bit of a revamp. So if you're watching on YouTube, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Zach Lesnovich from Ashes to Beauty Northwest, who's helping us with some furniture here in the studio. Today, I've got Jeremy Baker on the show with me. Jeremy's running for state representative for the 49th district here in Washington state. I've asked him to come on and talk about some of the issues that we're facing here in Washington because these are issues that we are also facing nationally. Uh, Jeremy's a first time candidate. I'm so inspired by his run and you will be too. Stick around. I think you're gonna be encouraged. All right, you guys, so welcome for those of you who are joining me on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying uh, the video version of the show. Also, for those of you who have been watching sort of from the periphery of Mom Strong International, we are doing a study right now on identity. And coming up this week, I'm going to be tackling the topic of transgenderism. Uh, we're going to be talking about whether or not our uh, gender is fluid and whether or not our DNA is malleable according to the Bible. God's word is relevant to the world that we live in right now. This is a fantastic study. It's a great opportunity for you to start a study in your home, study this with your kids. Your kids need to be equipped to deal with the culture around them. The culture, of course, is shifting, right? Right underneath our feet. We're watching this every single day. I just saw an ad come out, and I'll talk about this later on this week on the show, but Ulta, which everyone knows is a, a, a beauty supply store, right? Who's the primary demographic? Women. And uh, Ulta just launched a brand new podcast that's hosted by, wait for it, two trans men. And they were talking about one of them was just like, you know, I had dreams and I can be a mother now. And I'm just like, no, no, you can't actually be a mother. Stop erasing women. We've got to be able to talk to our kids about what's happening in the culture so that they can address it and address it with courage. So I hope you guys will check that out at momstronginternational.com. All right. I'm going to introduce Jeremy Baker to you. I met Jeremy uh, as I was also a candidate running for Congress here in Washington State. Jeremy is running for Washington State Rep for the 49th District. He's also a brand new candidate. I'm thrilled to have him in the studio with me. Jeremy, welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much for having me, Heidi. You're very welcome. All right. So let's just start with the obvious question. What in the world were you thinking? Because you're, you've are you never done this before, right? Jumping into, the, jumping into the political world, into the political realm. What motivated you to get involved in politics? Yeah, so... Uh... Well, I'm I'm a father of four, and I'm raised. Yeah, I have four sons, and I'm tr I'm trying to make men. And uh, after these last couple of years, I'm I'm making them men for yep. sure. But uh, I saw, I go, what what good is it if I make these great men mm. and release them into the world, mm -hmm. and the world is on just, fire? Yeah, it's not yeah. ready for them. Yeah, and so yeah. what? Where where should my priorities lie? You know, like. Um, how, what should I focus on? And yeah. I, since I put such a base into these kids and to my family and my, and my wife and I, and, uh, we figured, you know what, it, we probably have enough bandwidth. Our family would be all right if I, you know, try to help the community. And so that's, that's the, the impetus. Yeah. Th that's what started me. In, yeah. On what this do you role. do in your regular life? Oh, I w because everyone knows running for office is yeah. no joke. You got to basically, yeah. I mean, because if you're like me, I, I was working like full-time mm -hmm. job. And running for office takes a lot of energy. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I I grew up in the trades. So, so I, I went to school at WSU uh, and I got a degree in history. I was going to be a teacher. But then I, then when I started my family, I go, well, this isn't the lifestyle that I'm looking for. I, I need yeah. to have a better uh better So you appreciate the table in here? Oh, I do. I yeah. love it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, work with, I work with wood. Um, yeah. That's uh, what Zach does. Do you know Zach? Mm -mm. You need to meet Zach Lesnovich. Yeah, no. Yeah. And so I, I, I'm a construction worker. Um, mm -hmm. I, I started out as a laborer, brick mason. Uh, I fixed paper mills, steel mills. Right on. My dad used to work for James River. Yeah. So I grew and up going to the paper mill in Oregon Pacific. City. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I've been doing that for like 25 years, a little okay. over. And my dad and I started a business in 2009. We sold that to the national competitor. And so I, I manage that office now. All right. Right on. Yeah. So I'm. I've done it enough so I, I, I can put the amount of time that I need in that and, right. and then focus on the campaign as well. Right. And then obviously uh, focus on my kids and yeah. my wife, yeah. making sure that uh, yeah. have that balance. It's so important. It's really mm -hmm. important. And I think something that, you know, I've talked about on the show for a long time, and I think this is absolutely true for me and my run for Congress, was that the founding father's idea of what our country should look like 
was always framed around the idea of citizen statesmen. Mm -hmm. So people who uh, had businesses, people who were laborers, they were um, the common people, right? They didn't come from an elite class. We came from uh, the working class because they said, hey, let's you know represent for a time. Mm-hmm. That was the idea. Now we have career politicians yeah. who start running when they're 18 years old and don't retire till they're 80. Right. And it's a huge problem. And in Washington state, very much like California, I mean, the trajectory here is devastating mm-hmm. unless we change leadership. We have a leadership crisis, and I'm imagining that you saw that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, it is. What you just said is re- very interesting because that's literally the, what— who who is occupying this seat now is you know went from straight into academia yep. and yep. then a, a school teacher yeah, coming out of our woke universities yeah. and then running for office right and, and I'm like but how can you really understand what the people are going through if you've never been with the people you know right. so like me coming from uh you know the construction industry i understand what it means to get dirty uh and take a shower after you and get what done it takes work. to put a gallon of milk on the oh, table sure. and how much it costs to oh, drive man. your car every day, which is getting increasingly uh, no, it's, obnoxious. It, it is really, it, we're in desperate times. Mm-hmm. Like we can't keep going down the path that we're going. So like every, inflation is rampant throughout mm-hmm. the country. Everybody mm-hmm. sees it. Uh, mm-hmm. and But here in Washington, we're just, we're just exacerbating the problems. Like yeah. we're going to have another, another 46 cents on our gas yeah. tax yeah. in in January that's supposed to clean up pollution except for it won't that's right yeah that's right and then and then we have all these things that but all that does is just add to the inflation fire yeah right because if the farmers that are over there in eastern Washington right now they have those high diesel prices yeah all that and all that, that then we wonder why our food prices are going up well yeah, that's that, because, and yeah. that is one of the main drivers of the inflation right now is yeah. is that that aspect of it our food our must haves are yeah. going through the roof yeah so you're running obviously for a state seat mm-hmm. and washington has washington state's uh, state legislature is a democrat supermajority oh, these yeah. guys have been driving us into the ground for 100 years you're running to replace a the, Democrat. The, oh, the House, ma- the House Majority Floor Leader. So she's the one. That, Monica. Yeah. Good Mon- old Miss, Monica. Miss Monica Stonier pushes yeah. pushes all the bills through the through the House. So mm-hmm. she's got some pretty devastating ideas about education. Yes. And this is well, how she was the, I came, she was the prime sponsor of the comprehensive sex education. Hundred percent. So this is how I I came to know who she was several years ago, long before my run for Congress, when I started speaking out about comprehensive Mm -hmm. sex education. And it's exactly what you said. These woke ideologues, you've gotten themselves elected, and now they're ruining the lives of ordinary citizens. Confusing confusing our children. children. Absolutely true. Yeah, that social emotional learning, um, (laughs) that's like the, the, the base. They start putting that in, in kindergarten. And then by the time they get to fourth grade where the comprehensive sex education right. really gets in they have all these ideas of you know empathy and advocacy oh okay this guy it must be all right to do this and then they introduce just sex and sexuality mm-hmm. in fourth grade and uh it, it by the time they get through get into puberty they're thoroughly confused thoroughly confused and they don't have any idea where they're going mm-hmm. and what and then then they, they develop these they say they they purposely get involved with in between the parent and the child's relationship, yep. Yep. right? So they have Senate Bill um, 53, th- well, they, they have lots of bills. So Senate Bill 5889 and 5313 are, are, are part of this package that goes along with social emotional learning where um, if your child is, is going through some trouble um, and it's maybe not, con- maybe not, needs help right so they have policies in place where they not only laws but policies as well as where your child can go to the the school counselor the mm-hmm, teacher mm-hmm. whatnot and unbeknownst uh, to you unbeknownst oh and yeah yeah and then say hey hey mr jones i am you know i'm feeling depressed or i'm feeling you know uh maybe maybe i'm a girl when and my I'm, parents still support me right and right. so so that's that's policy three two one one right, and all the schools uh, have it in Washington, where the that that male or that that adult figure in the school is prohibited from telling the parents. So so in, instead of like okay, you have this child in crisis, and the and the the people at school they see this child in crisis, and then instead of saying bringing in the parents saying hey. Your child is struggling right now. What can we do? How can we support you and bring this child, uh, help this child get through this, right? No, they drive a wedge and, and they make sure that the, 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 
that trusted adult in school, which is part of um, the social emotional learning, that trusted adult in school uh, goes around to all the teachers and they develop a plan in, in this policy 3211. They develop a plan where, so John is now Judy and they, all the teachers will call John Judy. And the and parent they, has no idea. And the parent has no idea. Yeah. And then, and then when the teacher has to, when the teacher has to get in front of the parent, they'll call, call him John still. And so this child has to live this double life, right? So they don't, they, they're going through this Im- immense emotional struggle and the parent won't be able to help because of the policies that the school, the government is putting in place. It's a, it's a travesty. And then just to go even further, like that bill that I was telling you, 5889, that mandates uh, gender affirming care. Uh, and and that the gender know, affirming what well, even even the title is so deceptive they're not affirming anything i know and then but they but they, then they wrote into law that the insurance companies are prohibited from telling you what they're giving your kids you. so they they have to cover it but they can't tell you about it so your child could go to the school they have school and they and she passed she was a prime sponsor of school based health centers right so so your child can go to school get Get on gender affirming hormone, you know, you know, chemical castration of right, them, right. and you're you will never know as a parent. They can't tell you, and um, and you and the insurance companies won't tell you either. It's it's the opposite of what we need. Like we need strong families. If we're going to have a strong society, we have to have strong families, and they're breaking our families. And well, that's, you and have, that's why at the end of the day, we have predatory legislators. Mm-hmm. Yes. And predatory teachers and a predatory education system that is injuring our children, body, soul, mind, and spirit. And in and in the face of this, we have an opportunity to change it. We have an opportunity to elect new leaders. That's exactly why I'm excited about your run. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. So, Jeremy, before the break, we were talking about what's happening in our school system. And uh, we know that the public schools are in trouble, right? At least a 4% drop in overall enrollment. The parents are starting to, to get fed up. What can ordinary citizens do? I mean, you're running for a state seat, which is so important. And I'm hoping that people listening to this, I mean, th- my show is called Off the Bench. So for the last eight years that I have done this show, I've been telling people, get off the bench, get onto the battlefield. Why are we allowing this to continue, this is our country. Every single one of us should be invested in it. We should be going to our political meetings, figuring out who's on our city council, finding out what they're voting on. Because half the time, you know, it's just like the Democrats saying, well, we got to pass this health care law before people can know what's in it. That's garbage. And we're being governed by legislators that care more about ideologies that are killing us. I mean, we can talk about the Green New Deal. We can talk about green energy and all the things that Jay Inslee is doing to kill the state of Washington. But it's not unique to Washington State. No, absolutely not. And we have a chance to fix it. And yeah. so uh, what's, how do you, you know, you're talking to people. How do you say, listen, this is what it could look like uh, if we change it? Well, I think you said a lot there, but um, <laughs> I, I, I think what you're getting off the bench, like, so identifying the problem, I think that has been the 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 biggest Eye opener for me since I got into this race. I, I knew there, I knew there was a problem. I knew the things were going the wrong direction. I didn't know exactly why. I had a good idea on why it was going uh, poorly, but now I know. How long has Monica been in the seat? Six years. So it, long enough. Yes. Yeah. She was in. She was in the seventeenth um, in two thousand and ten and in two thousand and twelve, and then uh, Linda Wilson beat her, and so she moved into the forty. So she moved into the 49th so she can get into a seat that was more in line with her politics. But um, now that I know what's going on and I, and I, and I, I have identified the problem, that's, that's what I'm passionate about is, is going in, around and telling the parents, so this, is, this is what you need to guard yourself for. You need to put the armor, the, like the armor of God on, right? And, be, mm-hmm. and arm your family on what uh, is going on around you. you. This is what they're doing. And this is what you need to do with your children. Like talk to your kids and say, hey, you might, you know, you're going to go to school and they might be talking about these things that don't make sense to you. Please, if you have a question, come, don't ever not think it's okay to come talk to me because they may tell you something different, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So we can make, we need to be, we need to be advocates for our children Mm -hmm. and advocates for our community. And so like, 
coming off the bench. That that is what I'm doing. I'm coming off the yeah. bench, but I'm also trying to. That's why you're here. I'm bringing the bringing the uh, the bench with me. Yeah. You, you know, uh, I'm I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran, and uh, I do this little analogy in in one of my stump speeches. It's like we're we're when you're a Marine, you you are patrolling through the forest or whatnot, and you get attacked. Um, what do you do? Do you do you turn and run away? No, you stop. You identify where the threat is coming from. You turn towards that threat, and then you then you rush it, uh, and you overwhelm it with overwhelming force. And so, uh, in this analogy that I do, is that we're getting attacked from the left. And so, what do we do? Do we turn and run to the right? No, we we turn and we we attack the left from the right. And but we do it with overwhelming force. And so when I go out there, I say, <clears throat> I need that or- overwhelming force. And that and we are we we are so many in numbers, but we have been so um, discouraged with the national media and the national uh, narrative that be- makes us believe that we are not uh, the majority. Mm-hmm. And so we get discouraged, and that's that's done on purpose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But. Uh, What's well, a disenfranchising mm-hmm. of the voter? Because you finally just go, well, you know, what's the point? Why even try? And I know a lot of people across the country are feeling that way. We certainly feel it here in in Washington and have mm-hmm. for a long time. It's why I ran for Congress. Yeah. I just thought, boy, you know, ordinary people need to start taking responsibility for their country, yes. for their own. For their own. We've got to take responsibility for the communities in which we live. Well, look at what the parents did in Virginia yeah. in 2021. Amazing. Right? Yeah. I mean, that that is an, an example of what needs to happen all throughout the country. Like, And it doesn't have to be from uh, the left or the right. I mean, in in my opinion, I think the more engaged that we can get into our society, we all, I mean, we're all going to have different ideas. Mm-hmm. And it, But if we just stay on 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 the left or the right we'll never be able to really understand where other people are coming from we just need more active engagement mm-hmm. from the people from mm-hmm. the base right mm-hmm. from the citizens mm-hmm. and um well it's I opportunities think we'll be, we'll for be you. better better off you're doing that i mean the, i think the hope is that we can get people in these positions who actually want to be servant leaders oh, for sure. uh, this is what i talked to ray reynolds about last week when he, he was here on the show just this need for our leaders to see themselves as servants mm-hmm. rather than overlords or someone with all the right. answers. Because yes. when we can sit down around, uh, you know, around a table and lay out the things that concern us, I mm-hmm. think by and large, yes, we have differences. But by and large, I think people want what's best for their communities. And I don't believe, like, you know, I'm just looking at your website and just, you know, highlighting all the crazy things that the Democrats have been doing for the last mm-hmm you know, 30 years, which has gotten us yeah. to this point, I don't think that's what most people want. No, I and I don't either. And when I go out and talk to people out in the neighborhoods, they don't. You know, no. it's, it, it's, God bless the Democrats for giving me such a great, right. <laughs> great set Soft of- Soft on crime, I, I just say, high inflation. I, I, go, I go, I'm running because crime's too high, inflation is too high, and accountability is too, too low. low. Yeah. And then they go- yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, that. So, but um, the be, just being this, doing this for with a servant's heart, I think that's really important. Like, because I don't, I have nothing to prove mm-hmm. uh, in my life. Like I said, I'm 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 United States Marine. I I've I've achieved uh, everything that I wanted in life. I, I I've uh, you know one of the things I I race motorcycles in the desert. I love motorcycle racing, and so. Um, I went and soloed the 50th anniversary of the Baja 500. Ooh, fun! And so I rode that whole thing uh, by myself, just to just to show the people around me, mostly my boys, that there are no limits. Uh, the only limits you have are the limits you set on yourself. Mm. And so I I I try to lead by example. But I say all that just to say, like being a being in office that that's not gonna like fill my ego up because that's really not what I'm here for. I'm what I'm here for is the community Mm -hmm. and I want the community to thrive. Like I want our community, our Vancouver and Washington. I want to be able to give this to the next generation Mm -hmm. so they can have something to be proud of. And then they can give it to their, they can keep the fight going and Mm -hmm. and they can give it to their children and their children. And then we can, you know, all be better off, but the direction we're going, it's, it's the exact opposite. Yeah. And, you know, you've seen it, I'm sure. People are moving away. Yeah. And uh, it just breaks my heart because I've lived in this community my entire life. Yeah. You know, I just grew up just up the hill from your from the studio. And uh, 
to see people just give up yeah. and yeah. turn around and go find some greener pasture someplace. It's like, no, they can't have mm-hmm. the Pacific Northwest. I love this place. That's right. That's how I feel too. And I think it's worth, it's worth fighting for. Uh, Jeremy, we're out of, of time today. Would you come back tomorrow? Cause I'm, I'm looking at a couple of uh, questions I've written down for you that I think would be really important for people to hear, not only for your race. I mean, I hope that people are here in, in uh, the 49th are going, I'm going to share this podcast because it will help get your message out there. But it's equally as important for listeners across the country to say, hey, we actually have an opportunity to take back some ground. And the elections are just a couple weeks away. Three, three weeks it's away. It's crazy. I can't yeah. even believe it. But yeah, I'd, I'd would be, you come I'd back be, tomorrow? I'd be more than happy to. Thank you, Heidi. All right. Thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate having you. Yeah, thank you. You guys want more information on Jeremy Baker, you can go to votejeremybaker49.com. Listen, as I told you guys last week when Ray Reynolds was here, I don't often have candidates on the show, but when I do, it's for two reasons. Uh, One, I want you guys to hear why they're running these examples of these wonderful people that are getting off the bench and onto the battlefield. And two, I want you to send them money, right? It's very expensive to run for office. If what Jeremy is saying um, encourages you and you're just like, man, that'd be great for Washington State, send him some money. When I was uh, running my podcast, I wasn't allowed to ask for money for myself, but I can ask for money for other people. And so that's what I'm doing. You guys can check it out. Vote Jeremy Baker 49. That's the number 49.com. We're going to come back tomorrow and talk a little bit about the lie that is green energy. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. And thanks for sharing it wherever you have platforms to share it. We really appreciate it. Have a great day. Love your families well. And I'll see you back here tomorrow at the intersection of faith and culture. For more encouragement, visit me online at momstronginternational.com.